So hi everyone, today I'm going to cover sweeping a little bit and uh, more specifically sweeping and using uh, for resting takedowns to finish the sweeps. So one might ask, uh, why on earth would you need to do that? Why, why use takedowns? You know, we got sweeps, why use takedowns? Thing is that uh, uh, people, at least good guys, you know, who, are, who have good resting skill set, who have good attitude, uh, competitive attitude, will not allow themselves to be swept. And uh, when you think about the competitive com competition jiu-jitsu or submission wrestling, you know, you're gonna lose two points if you get swept. Um, and when you think MMA, you're just flat out gonna eat leather when you, when you end up on the bottom and, and, and you're gonna lose the fight anyway. So, so good guys are gonna be aggressive about it and, and that they won't allow themselves to be swept. I'm also gonna post a few good matches uh, with great examples of this. Uh, uh, where people f really aggressively fight against being swept and also how, how people uh, use resting takedowns to, to finish, finish the sweeps. Uh, one of those matches is going to be uh, uh, Vitor Shaolin Hiberio uh, fighting against Leo Vera. Really great uh, example of this. Both uh, using resting defensively, you'll see how, how uh, Vitor will, will just try to, to, try to Vier, take Vieira down using, using sweep uh, and trying to finish it with a takedown. And Vieira really trying to uh, not allow it to happen, uh, trying to uh, keep, on, keep it on his feet. So two great uh, jiu-jitsu guys in wrestling is basically going to determine the winner. And uh, also another great match is uh, Vitor fighting, uh, um, was it Terreira? Yeah, yeah. And Terreira is pulled guards and pulls guard and tries to sweep him using some spider guard things. You, you see Vitor will just won't allow it, he will, he will stay on top, he, he will get off balance for a second, but he'll stay on top. And, uh, and uh, it, it's basically gonna, there's going to be a real good scramble about with single leg takedowns again. Really great things. And, and, and one more example that I'm going to post, you, you can watch it later, I'm just going to comment about it right now, is, is the one uh, uh, Marce with, with Marcelo Garcia and Diego Sanchez. Marcelo Garcia is a great, great uh, example of using uh, of resting takedowns to finish the sweeps. Uh, in, in, that, in, in that specific matchup, you will see it. How it's, uh, Diego is a good wrestler. You'll see uh, Marcelo doing his single leg guard. Yeah, Marcelo trying to yeah, uh, sets up the sets up the sweep with with his single leg guard. Off balances him. Uh, but but Diego, good wrestler, just starts to scramble on top, tries to get his leg out. Yes, and, and tries tries to get it back up. So what Marcelo does, and this is why we need to do. Uh, and uh, this is going to be the answer now. Uh, it's not that sweeping is over, and and, and it's not that. The usual sweeps are totally gone. No, they're not. But you just gotta kind of have the have to have the attitude of uh, coming on top. And if you have to, you gotta st stick with them. You know, if two guys are gonna scramble, the, the guy with the better wrestling wins. You know, if if, if I if I off balance him and he's gonna scramble for top, and you know, I I have this middle attitude. I'm gonna come up. He's gonna come up. Yeah, he's he's gonna win. He's gonna still I, I get an advantage or something. But I'm not gonna I'm not gonna win this. So, but if I have a great attitude of just sweeping and I know that I, I got good resting and I okay, wait on. And I know I gotta go with him. I gotta go with him. I can't let him come up. I gotta wrestle with him. I gotta put him, put him on his back, really. So so then I'm gonna win. So that's so that's the answer. If, if, if your sweeps are failing, you know, or he, he's really trying not to get swept, things like, you know, he, he does, even if, if you almost do a, do a sweep, then hook sweeps him. Yeah, even if, if you fail like this, even here you can still start to scramble up. You almost like had to sweep, uh, but, but you still can fail it, you know. Uh, another great example is doing, doing a basic double ankle sweep, you know. I'm gonna, I don't know, I don't know about that. Yeah, I'm just gonna sweep him and, uh, Again, if you just think, oh, I'm just mellow, mellowly gonna sit up, and, and he will start to scramble here, he will try to get his legs underneath him, yeah, I can fail this, you know, I can just get an advantage, or, or it's not gonna be sweet, but if I, if I do this, then you know, I can get my feet underneath me uh, really fast, okay, I'll push I gotta, I gotta fight with him, I gotta grab his legs, and I gotta wrestle him down. If I do this, if I have that attitude, the, the sweeping is gonna get, you know, you're gonna finish more sweeps against good guys who will try to scramble. Against again, this and this requires wrestling. The better wrestler you are, the better the better the takedowns you have uh, there. And uh, and uh, yeah, so 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 that's the so that's that's the idea. That's the point I wanted to bring up. It's not new or revolutionary. You know, a lot of guys do this. I just 
I don't see this being taught really. All, all I see is uh, people teaching, you know, uh, regular sweeps, which is which is okay. That's that's cool, you know. You gotta know the sweeps, but uh, you, you kind of somewhere I, I've never seen anybody teach like you, you do a sweep, but you just go after it, after him. You really write aggressively, it's just like a pit bull on him. So I, I do some kind of a I don't know. I do a sweep on him, yeah. I, I sweep him there, but uh, you know. He, he can get his leg underneath him again, yes, and, and from here, you know, you, you gotta fight him, you gotta stand him up, you gotta go and finish the take down and get, get him on his back. Again, there's so many situations like this, and, uh, and yeah, I, I, I think I've made the point clear, just watch, watch the videos to get the, 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 the matches I'm gonna post, watch, watch those, uh, to, to see more examples how at a higher, higher level this is, so you don't want to end up on the bottom, that's that's fact. And, and, and to get, 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 the, get the guy on the bottom, you gotta just go with a takedown. Okay? Uh, and, and something else, I just, uh, I just want to show you a few examples of uh, the sweeps that I like to do. You know, everybody, you can, of course, you, people have their own sweeps and you can, you can uh, just figure out uh, how from that sweep you can uh, stand up and uh, go, go to your knees and, and finish it with a takedown, but I'm just going to give you a few examples of what I like to do. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, I'm sure. Okay, it's, it's again, it's, it's basically the Garcia thing. I like to do it as well. I like to use the single leg car, you know? Just the same thing he did, he did against uh, Diego Sanchez, if you watch that match. He, he will use, use it to be off balance, yeah, and, and Diego will try to come, come on top, yeah? Yeah, but, but he will, he will, he, uh, Garcia will maintain the leg control, get his uh, leg underneath him, right, and just both stand up actually. He's gonna stand up, yeah, he's gonna fight for top, yeah, we have a single leg situation, and Garcia just bam, brings him down. Something that I like to do as well. Just use, use that, uh, use that uh, single leg guard, go off balance him, and then just sit up. Yeah, so, so I get here, I tilt him that way, yeah, and I come up with him. I come up with him and I'm not going to allow him to resist the sweep, so I'm going to fight for the takedown. It doesn't matter what kind of finish you do with the single leg takedown, it matters so many options. From. But that, that's the idea. Those, that's one thing. Using that single leg guard is a really great example and I, and I really like how Marcelo is doing it. Uh, so another example that I like to do is, uh, is uh, use the... Uh, uh, is, is use the Dalariva thing. Usually I do this with the gi mostly, but um, occasionally I, I do it with the no gi as well, it doesn't matter. So you, you shoot for the Dalarima X guard, yeah? So I kind of, uh, I'm in this little from the gi, so you can see here, yeah? I'm in here, if you get this, you just kind of want to tilt him with this leg. You can turn and you tilt him, bam, you tilt him forward. And again, a beautiful single leg is waiting here after you tilt him. You just sit up and grab the leg, and you come, come, take him down. Really great, great thing to do. Uh, another, another example I can give you is, this is uh, also done in those videos that you can, you can watch in those Vito Shalim does it a lot throughout the games. From the half guard, you know, a lot of guys do this. You're in the half guard, okay, yeah, and, and you're going to come up with this leg. You're going to come up uh, using a single leg on this leg. You come on top, and here is going to be a little wrestling match again. Who's going to take who down? He's going to try to scramble, yeah. He's going to come up, yeah, and I'm going to be here. It's going to be who, who gets who. Okay, so another great example of that. Uh, yeah. What else? Oh, and of course, naturally, I, I forgot that at first. This is the one thing I do. I do mostly. Yeah. When I play open, when I play open guard, yeah, this is a really common situation uh, in nogi competitions. One guy sits in on. Uh, sits here on the bottom playing a seated guard and the other guy is just going to pass either, either knees, one knee up or, or it's just standing, doesn't matter. A really great thing to do, again, Marcelo Garcia inspired something, is, is the arm drag. Basically, you're just, you're just, you're just uh, here and, and you get, get the arm drag position uh, with your arms, okay? And then you drag him, you drag him and you scoot down diagonally a little bit. I drag him and I scoot down, alright? And here, what awaits me again? A nice single leg. So I turn and I come on top. Yes, and here is going to be a little wrestling match again. Better rest than wins. I have a good position, I should show. Sure. Try and take him down. Yeah, or, or take the back or whatever the finish is going to be. You don't always have to just 
finish with the takedown, but right now it's a good, good position also to take the back, so it doesn't matter. But the idea is the same. When you do a sweep, you kind of just gotta have that attitude to, to go after him, like a, like a little like a dog, you know, you just stick on him. You know, you do a sweep, you, you, can't, you can't accept him to just fall on his back, so you do some kind of an X card. Oh, come on, stick. I gotta come on top. I can't, I can't think that he's just gonna accept being swept. He's gonna fight, he's gonna, yeah, he's gonna try to come up, so we're gonna have to do a little resting match here. Yeah. So that's the idea, okay? So these are a few examples that I like to do. I'm not going to cover them in great detail right now, but I just wanted to get the point across. Okay, so yeah, that's that for, for tonight then. And uh, watch the videos and I hope you got thinking you got you thinking a bit about it if you, if you haven't thought about it before. So wrestling is good. Take wrestling and you'll see also your sweeps improve. All right. Uh, something I forgot to uh, mention. Just, just before, even though I, I already closed the deal, but, but anyway, uh, I just uh, wanted to bring up a little uh, three, three-step model for sweeping uh, that how how I see sweeps should be done nowadays. First is uh, uh, to conclude this topic is that that the first you, you have a good guard, you gotta have a good guard, and and, and you use your your guard and your regular jujitsu sweeps. Sort of as a setup, so the jitsu is going to be, become the setup. So when I play the guard here, yes, I play the guard here. I gotta have a good guard. I gotta be able to maneuver here. He's not gonna be able to pass. Okay. So and now somewhere along the lines, I'm gonna use uh, a little off balancing motions or, or a little sweeping motions. So for instance, I'm just little here. I'm just tilt him a little bit. Yeah. So I tilt him a little bit. So that that's that's the setup. That's the first part of that three uh, three uh, three point model. First is you use Jiu Jitsu as a setup to off balance him a little bit. So yeah, so, so yeah, any kind of uh, just here sometimes I just like grab an ankle and just push that a little bit. So again, he's a little bit off balanced and uh, and uh, I have this now I have this window of opportunity. The moment where he's a little bit off balanced and, and uh, before he, re he regains his posture. That, that, that's the moment when you have to do the second part of that model is, is to make the transitions. Going from the guard onto your knees, uh, onto your knees and, and, and yeah. So I, I off balance a little bit, it might be just like that sometimes, yeah. Just push them a little bit and, and, and then I come up, I come up to a single level. So that's the transition and, and then it's going to be, the, the th third thing is going to be the, uh, it's going to be takedown. So now, now, now we're just going to fight a little wrestling match here, who's going who's gonna to get who. So, so that's the idea how, how I see sweeps nowadays. You, you use jiu-jitsu, you gotta have a good guard, you gotta have lots of good open guards, postures, you know, you gotta have seated guards, you gotta have seat guards, you gotta have hook guards, you know, a lot of frames and, and, and that's good. You gotta have a really good guard. And, and then you use little off-balancing motions. They can be regular sweeps, you know, I might just be here. I might actually do a little hook sweep on him. Yeah, it, it, it fails, I might just go on top. From, from that motion alone. Yes. Okay, so, uh, or, or anything else, you know, just, you, you, whatever, you know, the things we showed before, you know, I just off balance a little bit. I'm not, I'm not, I don't think that he's going to get swept with this. I just want to off balance him. But I do think I'm going to sit up and I'm going to take him down. That's what I do think. So I, I off balance him and I'm going to finish So that's the three part model, so you, you can think of. Using Jiu Jitsu as a setup, then doing the transition between Jiu Jitsu and wrestling, bam. And, uh, and then finishing with a takedown. And, and the last thing that I wanted to uh, talk about uh, is, is, the, is about that transition phase. Uh, usually the transition fa phase involves just one similar motion in all cases. Whatever your sweep is going to be, whatever your takedown finish is going to be, the transition is usually the same. And, uh, and it's, it's a really universal movement in Jiu Jitsu. thing is that revolves anything going to your knees. So when you go to your knees, you kind of uh, you kind of want to lean forward, basing on your arm, and then you're going to get the leg that's uh, underneath you. You want to make it weightless and get it out from underneath you. So, it doesn't matter. So, let's say I'm just, yeah, I, I just want to sit up here. I'm just going to push him a little bit, okay? Now what I do, I lean forward, and I, and I do this little, little shrimping motion, bringing my hips back, and then I bring this leg out from underneath me. Okay? So, again, so whatever sweeps I'm going to do, I'm going to do the arm drag thing, okay? I do the arm drag thing. I drag him, you know what I do? I lean forward, I, right now I'm not basing on my arm, I'm basing on his arm actually with my arm. 
So I'm pulling myself this leg right now. I'm gonna bring it out from underneath me. Nice and fast. Now I have a good pace. So now uh, what else? Even the half guard thing, you know? I'm in the half guard. Now I'm gonna come start fighting with the single leg. I bolt up my arm, I lean forward, you know, and I make this leg fight and I bring it out from underneath me. So now I have pace. I'm gonna use this leg to fight, fight it. It usually is, it's, it usually is this kind of motion. And, and, and why this is this so universal, you know? Let's say, even escaping, when I do, when I do escapes, uh, from side mount, for instance, I bridge him, I bridge him, I make space, I, I shrink it out, and now again, this is gonna be the motion here. I scoot out a little bit, you see my hips, they go a little shrink, I post up my arm, and then I bring my leg out from underneath me. Yeah? And, and that's, even the same motion is when you, when you, when you resist sweeps or you scrum from top position, for instance, yeah, just, yeah, I wish my mouth would move. Yeah, yeah, he swept me, okay? So now I'm gonna try to fight from the top position. What I do, I lean on one side, you know, whatever the side is, you know, and I'm gonna try to get my leg out oh, back from underneath me. Again, so and, and same thing when he, when, when he does a takedown, you know? When he does a single leg on me, yeah, takes me down, bam, what do I do, how do I get up? I'm gonna start the post, frame it, and try to get my leg out from underneath me again. Do a slipping motion and then get the leg out from underneath me. So it's just something that usually when, when I teach uh, people and, and, uh, and, and I try to make them to go for takedowns, this is usually a little bit pro problematic as a transition, you know? Uh, because, because people usually, what's wrong with this motion when, when beginners do it or so, is sometimes they, they want to too much go into him, you know? When I'm here, I want to bring this leg out from underneath him, but they try to too much go into him. You know, they try to get, make their weight go uh, before this leg. So, so to have that balance, you know, they want to push forward. Okay, now I have that position. But, 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 but rather, you, you can't like, he's, he could be a mountain, you know, I can't move a mountain. So I'm here, I just need to pull this out from underneath me. So it's just something, that when, you, when you want to try and uh, practice the thing, uh, the doing, uh, transitioning to takedowns, you want to want to pay attention to this thing. Is when you are, you, uh, yeah, you're, you're in the guard, wherever you are, you do some off balancing motion. You go, you sit up, you're gonna sit up, usually this arm is gonna be posting, so you can just stand on your one leg and one your arm to make this light. Okay, this arm usually grabs something, or when you're resisting takedowns, it usually pushes something. So this is doing this motion, and then you just get it out from underneath you. Bam! And you have your posture again, okay? Or, or, you, or you come on top, you come, yeah. So, rather than not trying to go over this leg, you should take this leg out from underneath you. Well, the same thing, but even if you just want to stand up from the guard, you know, think MMA. You're in the bottom, you just want to get the hell out of here. You know, you're going to post on yourself and you're going to get your leg out from underneath you. Yeah? So, yeah, that, that's the thing I forgot to mention before and I, and I wanted to bring up in conclusion. So, when, you, when you're going to try to do uh, the sweeps with takedowns, you just got to do that transition usually. I mean, maybe, maybe not in every case, but usually this involves this movement. And, and uh, rather than going forward, you gotta bring it out from underneath you. Okay, so yeah, that's that for the. Okay, now that's it. I've, I've talked about everything. Yeah, I wanted to say it right now. Okay, thank you.